What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here with my MacBook 12 inch, and I need to reset this. So here's my opinion on how to, you know, wipe it out. First of all, you want to disconnect your computer from anything that, you know, uses backup services, syncs with Dropbox, Google Drive, those types of things. But then you also want to go in here into iCloud and disconnect your computer from your iCloud account. And so usually what I will do is go up here and uh, uncheck all of these and then just go down here and click sign out. And then we'll shut down the computer and go to the next step. All right, now that I've got all that disconnected, I'm gonna turn the computer on here and I'm also gonna hold down Command R while it's booting up. Okay, now on my MacBook 12, you actually have to hold it down quite a while. The status bar kind of fills up twice, but then you get this, the Mac OS Utilities. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go down here to Disk Utility, Repair, Erase a Disk, and then you click Continue. And then you're going to want to find your disk, which is usually a uh, Mac SSD or Mac internal hard drive. And then you're going to want to erase it. And I think I'll leave it APFS and erase. And then once that's done, just exit out of this and then go back here and go to reinstall Mac OS and it will install a clean, fresh, vibrant copy of your Mac OS operating system. And then once it gets into the setup and configuration, you can shut it down, hand it off to the next owner, give it away, or reset it up, you know, from scratch. That's really it. How to reset your MacBook back to factory settings. Peter Von Panda, out.